In today's video, I'm going to be making myself a birthday cake. And it is just as sad as it sounds. So today's video is actually highly requested. A lot of you have said you wanted a baking video, so I figured I would combine the two and show you the process of making myself a birthday cake. Before you feel sorry for me and wonder why a loved one is not purchasing one for me, um, I kind of do this every year. <laughs> I really enjoy baking. Um, usually I will see this as an opportunity to just like experiment with new recipes and try new things. But for some reason this year I just I just can't be bothered. I'm just going to make a standard chocolate fudge cake. I say standard, it is not standard. It is exquisite. It is a great recipe. Um, but I'm going to make my usual chocolate fudge cake and it's going to be pretty chilled. Um, I do have a couple of friends coming around tomorrow so we will eat it then if you like this kind of video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up make sure that you subscribe join me on instagram and twitter and all that good stuff um, and without further ado let's get into the video so here's a little stuff i prepared earlier oh and this is my first video in the new kitchen how exciting it's a very lovely kitchen that i have not cleaned up to show you and um, i guess i'll have to do a little tour sometime but yeah very grateful for this place so you will need four of the world's freshest eggs Thank you ladies. 300 mils of sunflower oil, four tablespoons of cocoa powder, 300 mils of semi-skimmed milk, I'm using lactose free, four tablespoons of golden syrup, 350 grams of self-raising flour, 300 grams of caster sugar, two teaspoons of bicarbonate of soda. That is all you need. The oven is preheating and I'm going to start baking. First thing I'm going to do is simply combine all of the dry ingredients into this here bowl. So starting off by just sieving in the flour. I do also like to sieve the cocoa powder because it's just notoriously lumpy. And the bicarbonate of soda. Once those are all inside, I'm just going to stir them together until I've got a fairly even mix. Then I'm going to make a little well in the centre and I'm going to add in the wet ingredients. I'm going to use my standing mixer, I will put the link to this machine in the description box of this video. What you don't want to do is over mix it. So once I've mixed it for like a few seconds, I'm just going to scrape down the side to make sure that everything is combining well. And it should look a little something like this. Delicious. So here I've got my tins. I've greased, lined and cake sleeved these tins. This is essential to helping the cake cook perfectly. So I've done two of them. I'm going to be making three layers. I figured I would save the third layer to show you. So what I've got is a non-stick pan. Um, I got these for like four pans from Home Bargains. And I've just cut out a circle of baking paper. You can get this from any normal supermarket. It'll just be near the cling film and the foil. I'm using spray light. You can use butter or oil, but this is just so much easier and not as messy. So I just take that, shake it, and I just spray all over the sides until there is a fine coat over every bit. And I take my paper, pop it in the middle, and you'll see that it just sticks down and spray it on top. The next thing that I use are these cake sleeves. So this is a cake sleeve. It's basically a long piece of cloth that you soak in water that helps your cake cook evenly. Um, it basically means that it will rise evenly. I bought these for a few pounds years ago and oh my goodness, best money I've spent. Soak your cake sleeves that is dripped in water, just normal tap water. And I'm just gonna squeeze all of that out until I've got a nice long sleeve that is simply damp and I place this around the cake tin. You want it damp, but not like dripping wet. Oh, there's chickens behind me. And there we have it. Three tins ready for the cake mix. And now what I do try to do is divide the cake mix evenly between the three tins. I just give an eyeball estimate for, and then I add more wherever I think it's needed. Now, because I can't weigh these because the cake sleeves are already on, what I'm just gonna do is measure the depth. So I'm placing one chopstick or stick, whatever you've got, into each pan. So just double check that they are approximately 
the same height. And they're all about the same height. I think this one is probably the biggest. So I'll just take a couple of spoons out of that one and add it into another. That's how I do that. So now we're gonna put these in the oven at 160 degrees, so relatively low. It should take about 25 minutes. Right, I'm gonna go tidy up and do other things while those are cooking. Okay, the cake should be done now. Um, I know that they're done because they're just firm to touch. In fact, I probably could have taken this out a minute earlier. You want it to have just a little jiggle. And there they are, a nice even rise. They're firm to touch, but still soft. Um, they all look about the same size to me. I mean, not too bad. So I'm gonna leave those to cool for 10 minutes just in the containers before I turn them out onto the wire racks to cool. The way to check if they're done, if you put a knife in, it should come out clean. Knife or toothpick. Beautiful. Hey guys, so the cakes are all cooled and ready to go. Um, I'm not going to be making my own buttercream because I can't be bothered. I absolutely love this Cadbury fudge icing. I would highly recommend. So that's what I'm going to be using. Um, I think I will stop talking to the camera and just let you guys watch what I'm doing. Maybe I'll add a voiceover if it's needed. Um, but just so that my housemates can come in and use the kitchen too. So yeah, going to be switching to voiceover in three, two, one, let's go. All right, let's begin with this voiceover. Now you might notice that I sound a little bit less than enthusiastic and the reason for that is because I am far less than enthusiastic to do this voiceover mainly because watching this back is like watching a replay of my failures. I hated how this cake turned out. It had all the potential. I just absolutely, I just ruined it. So I was doing the layers, crushed up the cookies, amazing, great, good job. However, I overfilled the layers and also the buttercreams I chose were just trash. So the fudge one, great, used it before. The other one was a dark one that I wanted because of the aesthetic and that was just in the back of my cupboard and I needed to use. But it was so soft, it was literally just like dripping everywhere, it wouldn't stay still, it was not strong enough to be a barrier for the inner contents and I just overfilled the layers. But there I am, just ploughing through, not knowing what is to come blissfully unaware although sus suspicious because of the texture of this buttercream that this is not going to hold strong alas not only was the buttercream bad i ran out of it one tub was not enough for such a huge cake um, so i didn't even get the dark aesthetic that i wanted on this cake i tried i tried i tried and then i realized i would have to add the fudge on the outside as well so i did that the textures were just not <laughs> Oh, it's tragic. Look how stiff that the fudge is relative to the sticky one. So it was just, it was just, if you bake, then you'll know just how, how sad this was. Just trying to make it work. A very soft, moist cake with two just an incompatible. Incompatible is how I describe them. But anyway, I powered through and I think I managed to get like a bit of a marbled visual effect. It wasn't what I wanted, but it was fine. But then the more I pressed and pushed and did all this stuff to try and get the buttercreams to blend, the more dome-shaped the cake was. And so what I ended up doing was actually trying to level the cake off with buttercream on it, which is just an absolute no-go. Like, you don't level a cake after you put buttercream on it. But I tried and quickly realized why you absolutely do not do that. So that was fun. But anyway, it is what it is, got through it. I then thought I would try and make this cake a little bit better by adding a chocolate lace and some chocolate decorations. These aren't things that I've really done before, so I didn't do them that well. Um, just put some chocolate on some clear card, put it in the freezer. When it freezes, it should be rings. I didn't put enough chocolate on, so they all just broke. So that was another blow to the old ego, but I thought, whatever. Do you know what? Seeing as this cake looks like trash, it was the perfect opportunity to try a chocolate lace squiggle thing. So I put some chocolate on some baking paper, um, let it get a little bit tacky and I just thought screw it if this goes wrong this cake can't get any uglier I was a bit wrong about that to be honest. I didn't really think about this I just rushed it. It was way too tall. It wouldn't fit in my fridge There was no chance that amount of chocolate was gonna not break. I'd cut some off, but just not enough Anyway, unwrapped it after popping it in the fridge for a bit and all of the obviously everything broke off at this point I was like screw it I'm just gonna throw on the broken rings and pieces of chocolate onto the cake 
and hopefully get some kind of abstract art out of it. Unfortunately, I did not. So I put some crumbs on it, which was just a completely different vibe and did not go. And that's where my camera died, and that's for the best, really, because what I did next was paint some gold on there. So I used some gold glitter dust and some lemon juice and to, to paint some of the white chocolate. And then I quit because it looked crap and I could not be bothered. But here are some pieces of the cake because it tasted really good. I forgot to actually film the finished thing, but here's, here's some pieces. It did taste good. <sighs> I don't know. I know maybe maybe I'm a perfectionist, but this is, you know, if I was seven, I would congratulate myself. Like, well done, Sarah. Well done. But I'm not. I'm 27. And I, I'm not going to lie. I've been making cakes for a while. And this was not my best cake. I think I deserve better. There it is in the back of some pictures. Yeah, it looks all right from a distance. Whatever. It was cool. Okay, we're done with this video. <sighs> I'm so disappointed in myself, but it's fine, it's fine. I'm, I'm positive and I'm fine. Yay for birthday cake. Love you so much. See you in my next video. Bye.